It is currently 1 a.m. It's Thursday, um, and I just booked me a flight to Cancun, and I'm leaving on Sunday. I am exhausted. I need a break right now. So I'm going to take y'all with me over the next few days on me getting ready for this trip. Um, and I'm going to post this when I get off the plane. So yesterday was Wednesday. I worked from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And today is Thursday. It's 1 o'clock, but I work from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. After that, I'm cutting my work from one day, nobody's designing for the next couple weeks. The first thing I'm going to do is go through one bathing suit to figure out which one I'm going to take a picture. I forgot to record so much, but this is the next day, Friday, and I went to go get me a new set of nails. I finally got the 90s inspired money nails that I always wanted. I wanted these since I was eight, and I finally found a nail set that would do it. Now we're about to skip right to Sunday because I forgot to record. Sorry. One hour, my ADHD kicked in, and now I'm in panic mode. Because I still ain't packed my bag and figured out what I'm wearing or nothing. And I have to leave in one hour. So, yeah. Now, fast forward again. This is me on my layover. I took a screenshot so y'all can see my outfit. It look I Fast forward again. We finally arrived at the resort. Let me show y'all the room. My first initial response is that the room is fly. Um, I always make sure the rooms look better than my house in New York City, and this definitely passed the test. It looks way better than home. We asked them to put us near the adults only so I could be as far away from kids as possible. If I go away and I'm not with my own kid, I don't want to be around nobody else's children. Sorry. I love this shower. I cannot wait to take a shower in. So this is me and my home grandma. We finally got dressed some pictures, got some content, and now we on our way to a um, Mexican street festival at the hotel. This hotel is all-inclusive. They had fresh pineapple margaritas. All of the juices were um, freshly pressed that they were mixed in, so these drinks on the first day were amazing. This is what I ate at the Mexican street festival. It was some loaded nachos. You could put whatever you want on it. I decided to put chicken and beef in order to fix it. It was good. The resort is so big that you have to take a trolley back to your room every time. So we got to chit chat with some ladies that we met. Talking about these cool gas men. The next day I got up super early and went to the gym and then met my friend for breakfast. I put nothing but nonsense on my plate. I don't know, this plate just reminded me of Coach Stormy because why did I put them two shrimp on my plate? Like, what was the reason for me to add the two shrimp? Just being greedy, uh. Then we just took a walk around the entire property. They built the property around nature. So they have, like, fresh waterfalls, animals running around. Everything was really beautiful, but this is before we seen the animals. Then I went back to the room, showered, put on my bathing suit, and got ready to enjoy the rest of the day. I had this bathing suit and this bathing suit cover up for like 10 years. Um, it looks different on me every time I wear it based on like my body shape, but I think it's cute. At this point, it's like 11 a.m. and it's time for us to go to the beach to relax. We were at the beach for a total of eight hours and all we did was eat, take shots, gossip, plan our futures, and get in the ocean water. The ocean water was so warm. This is the warmest I've ever felt the ocean. It was like, almost like a sauna. But I love every minute of it. It's like when my body touches ocean water, everything heals up and life is just so much better. Any That's little okay. depression or whatever later. I had going on just disappears once I touch the um ocean. We went to the burger hut to eat lunch. That burger was bussing. Um, and then I took shots and drank daiquiris for the rest of the day, which was a terrible choice. When we left the room, we went back to our rooms and threw something on so that we could go to the restaurant right next to our um, room. We thought we were going to go out that night, but it did not work out. I ended up waking up at like three in the morning, sick as a dog. My friend has to give me these liquid IV things. 
this video is already getting too long, so I have to make another one. If you want to see a part two and if you want to know how much this entire trip costs, please let me know in the comments. Until then, I'll see you later, BBs. Bye.